candidate today who we have in the hot seat is Kamari, a 10-year-old. As y'all know, she has been going viral and, shockingly, has just been recently going viral again for something that her mother said that she doesn't do. And there are a lot of people in the comments that are saying otherwise and sticking up for her, but here we go. This is what her mom said. And this is why I can't be nice, ATP. People do anything for clout, including my child. Shorty just can't get right. Please stop tagging me. I don't give a F. So she letting y'all know she know her child was grown, but she don't care. Leave her alone. She's tired of it. Also, she also says, pissed off is an understatement. Also says, I've always told my child to take up for herself, but there's a proper way to do everything, and that wasn't it. Not worried, just more instilling I have to do with her. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure this is something that, you know, is upsetting to her. And I will give you all my thoughts at the end of this. But she's letting y'all know she really don't care. She knows that her child's grown and she has some working on, you know, to do with her. So, but let me know what y'all think about Nike's comments down below. But here is the shocking video. Hey, Kamari look like a man right here. Look. Yo, mama fucking look like a man. She's a fucking trainer, you dumb ass hoe. Now, before I get into my thoughts on that video, I am responding to some comments underneath the last video that they posted. Because it's not about to punish her child forever. You don't know the conversation they had behind the camera. Y'all saw one video and based it on her whole personality. And don't act like you've never seen children roll her eyes and be sarcastic. Now, yes, every child is not going to be, you know, rolling their eyes and being sarcastic. And if they do, that's when you stop it as a parent. You don't let it go on because Kamari does that in front of her mother on the video. As y'all know, she is disrespectful. She introduced her mother as me and my girl is here. No, that's your mother. That's how y'all know that her mother is more a friend than a mother because her child is too comfortable doing certain things that she shouldn't be doing at 10 years old. And I said what I said. So that goes for that comment. All right, let's go to the next one. So, as a parent, do you also believe that a child shouldn't be listening to music with vulgar language? Because in a couple of videos that your favorite did, he allowed Nation and Kamari to. All right, I understand that. CJ did allow Kamari and Nation to curse in some of those videos, and I did not say that was okay. Some kids are going to be around music, like me. I will listen to my music, but my kids are not going to sing curse words and do all the extra stuff. They mind their business. You know, every child is different, okay? You know, some kids grow faster than others. Some take a while. Somebody also said, you ain't the parent. Always remember that. And I'm not the parent, but let me give you my thoughts on that. I don't have to be a parent to a rival 10-year-old going around being grown and fresh and twerking on boys and cursing and talking about trans women and all this stuff. Like, how does a 10-year-old know about trans anyway and, and, and know how to disrespect in that type of, you know, caliber? Me, yes. Every child is not perfect, okay? Kids are going to try you. Kids are going to try to experiment. Kids are going to go through phases. I understand that. But you as a parent are supposed to stop it. You're not supposed to encourage it, okay? I look at Kamari and her mom in her videos, and she's way too comfortable to the point where that's your mom. That's not your best friend. That's not a friend in the street. That's not one of your little friends from school. That's your mom, okay? Clearly what her mom said in the last previous video didn't mean nothing because she went on a video and started saying she's cursing, talking about somebody's mother look like a trans, all types of, and then call hoes, all types of stuff. Like, what? Yes. If y'all parents are out there thinking that this is okay because she's 10 years old and, you know, it's, it's, it's um, mistakes and all the stuff. That's fine. But this is not the first or the second. I'm pretty sure it's not the last. She is 10 years old. She needs to stay in a child's place. Her mother needs to do something about it, period, point blank. She's not with CJ all of the time. When she with CJ, they're all together. So she doesn't have opportunities freely to do these things. Okay? When she's with her mother, she's freely doing things. Her mother also said that she don't let her child play outside because it's dangerous in Indianapolis. But... That same 10-year-old that you're talking about, so-called protecting because it's crazy in Indianapolis, is the same 10-year-old that snuck away to another city in Chicago that's way more dangerous, and you didn't know about it. Your child was too comfortable to do these things, okay? She's only 10 years old. Imagine when she's 16 years old. That's all I'm saying. You need to stop it now, get some counseling, put her somewhere, because she's getting out of control. And Nike's the mother, so she has to do these things because she's, she's the parent that she lives with but anyway i said what i said 
Um, you don't have to agree with me. You can agree with me. It doesn't matter. I still said what I said. And as a parent, I see things different from most parents that I see in the comments. So, with that being said, <laughs> make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all click the notification bell. And make sure y'all y'all can put y'all comments down below. I love comments. I love different people's opinions. That's fine. Y'all say what y'all say. I say what I say. And that's it. But until further ado, stay tuned for the next video. All right, y'all. Love y'all. I mean, for real, for real, though, y'all got to do better in these comments. I was